and pop-up infections across the state are causing many parents to wonder how many cases will it take to close down a school. Now here at the Lincoln Middle School in Meriden, they have one case so far, but an entire class is under quarantine. An entire class in quarantine at the Lincoln Middle School in Meriden. Despite all health guidance, the parent sent the student to school while waiting for the test results. Results that came back positive. The student was put in an isolation room. If not for our strict cohorting model, many more students could have been impacted. It's one of many stories across the state. Here are just some of the districts dealing with COVID-19 so far. Fran Rabinowitz, who represents Connecticut school superintendents, says there needs to be more testing at the school level. And not just one-time testing. One-time testing gives you a sense of comfort on Monday that everybody is clear. But more importantly, I think it's the ongoing testing. There's no criteria set by the state when a school should close, but Rabinowitz said leaving it up to the districts might not be a bad idea. I do think we have to take each one individually because it really depends a lot on the context. In Hartford, three staff now positive for the virus at the Creck Montessori School. Being that my grandbaby is only three years old, it is very concerning. But she's been practicing for months, months, on putting her mask and what have you. In Stratford, a staff member tested positive on the first day. Nancy Andrews, spokesperson for the Connecticut Education Association, claiming in a statement to Fox 61, quote, teachers don't have adequate PPE and have hand wipes, not disinfectant, to clean down all surfaces.